I quit NoFap after one year. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking. Jordan, you literally just said in your last NoFap update video, the one year update video, that it was pretty much impossible for you to relapse. I did say that. I'm not gonna run from that, I'm not gonna deny that. But what I will say is that even though I said it was nearly impossible, I also said that it was a conscious decision that I would have to make. And as you can see by the title, I quit NoFap. I did not relapse on NoFap. Now I know it sounds like I'm getting into semantics, but words are very powerful, okay? And that slight difference makes all the difference in your NoFap journey, in the way that you perceive your NoFap journey and your self-development journey as a whole. Okay, now first, I should start by explaining what happened. Basically, I was practicing my stroke game and I got carried away. Okay, that's just me being as transparent as possible. I was practicing my stroke game and I got carried away. Okay, and it is what it is. I can't take it back. But what I can do is make a video on it and monetize it. Okay, we monetize our L's over here. We turn our L's into W's. Now, I wanna explain some of the things that I learned by relapsing on NoFap after one year, or like I said, quitting NoFap after one year. Okay, the first thing is that everything that I said about forgiveness is very, very true. Okay, this gave me the perfect opportunity to practice what I preach. You see, one thing about doing NoFap is that I feel like when you get to a certain point, it can be very difficult to relate to the people who are just getting started on their journeys. So with me being at one year on NoFap and seeing people in my comment section struggling to get past three days for months or even years at a time, it made me feel a little bit disconnected. I want you to know that as you're watching this video, I am right there with you. Okay, I am right there with you. I am currently on, I believe, one week of NoFap. But honestly, I'm not even counting the days at this point. Okay, if you ask me, I'm still on one year of NoFap because if you think about it, NoFap is the only self-development practice where you can relapse just one time and all of your progress is negated. And I think that that's a testament to just how much of a placebo NoFap actually is. Now, I don't want you guys to misconstrue that statement and think that NoFap doesn't have any real benefits. Just because the benefits are largely in your own mind doesn't mean that they don't actually make a difference in your life, okay? Because your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs create your reality, as within, so without. So don't undermine the importance of your perceptions, especially regarding NoFap, okay? If you're on one year or two years or three years of NoFap, and you relapse one time, that doesn't mean that that progress is instantaneously gone. Just like if you work out every day for a year and you suddenly miss one workout, that doesn't mean that you're not active or healthy or fit. If you're on a diet for a year and you have one cheat meal, that doesn't mean that you're unhealthy. That doesn't mean that you're not a clean, healthy eater. In the same way, if you're on NoFap for a year or two years or even three months, however long you're on it, and you relapse, that doesn't mean that you're not on NoFap anymore. Okay, now, like I said, I'm kind of getting into semantics here, I'm going on a tangent, but I think that that's very, very important because like I said earlier, I realized through this experience that forgiveness is essential to not only your NoFap journey, but your self-development journey. When I relapsed, I didn't feel bad. I didn't feel guilty. I felt good. Because like I said, it gave me the opportunity to practice what I preach. And that was very, very important for me. It was very important for me to give myself the opportunity to experience self-forgiveness in that capacity, in that sort of situation, especially with everything else that had been going on in my life within that two week time span, which I'm not going to get into that in this video. That's for another time, but my point still stands. Okay. Me relapsing on NoFap was actually one of the best things that could have happened to me. Now, like I said, I still see myself as being on one year of NoFap, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from making NoFap 30 day benefits videos and 60 day benefits videos. Even though I'm not counting the days, I'm just gonna do rough estimates based on how many months I've been on NoFap. And the main reason why I do those things is because of you guys. Okay, I wanna make those videos to inspire you guys and so that you guys know that you're not on this journey alone. Like I said, I want to connect with you guys. I want you guys to feel understood. And I want you guys to know that I am walking on this journey right alongside you. 
Okay, for as much as some of you consider me to be a leader, I consider myself to be right there with you guys. Okay, we're all on this journey together. We're all elevating and improving and expanding together. Now, with all of that being said, I am still on NoFap. That was a one-time thing. Like I said, I got a little bit carried away, but I made the conscious decision to follow through that night just because I wanted to see what would happen. Okay, I wanted to see how it would affect my overall psyche. And some people may not understand that. Some people may not understand why I threw away one year of progress for experimentation purposes. But to me, like I said, I didn't see any sort of drop off. If anything, I felt better because now I know that I truly love myself unconditionally. You see, something that I always say, and I think that this is kind of what separates me from a lot of other self-improvement YouTubers, is that you have to love yourself before you start self-improvement. If you do self-improvement, and particularly NoFap, for the sake of loving yourself, if you make yourself love contingent on a NoFap streak, or on your physique, or anything else in between, you will never love yourself. Let me repeat that. You will never love yourself because true self-love is not contingent on anything. It is simply a decision that you make in the present moment right here, right now. Not when this video is over. Not when you reach 90 days on NoFap, which you will. If you apply this advice that I'm giving you right now, you will reach 90 days. You'll stop counting the days because you'll realize that it's a lifestyle. And that's why it's so futile to count the days. And that's why, like I said, I consider myself to be on one year. Because when you make it a lifestyle, kind of like working out or eating healthy, one relapse doesn't negate all of your progress because it's a lifestyle, not a streak. In streak terms, yes, I am on like day seven or day eight, whatever. I'm on about a week of NoFap at the time of me recording this. By the time I upload this video, I don't know what I'm going to be at. But my point still stands. Okay, you have to love yourself. And once you love yourself, all of these things that I preach in my videos and that other self-development YouTubers preach, cold showers, journaling, meditation, no fap, deleting social media, all of these things become natural to you. Okay, you can't see another way of living. When I got the chance to experience that regression in my life by relapsing on no fap and by implementing other negative habits in these past couple of weeks while I was on my break from YouTube, that gave me the opportunity to see just how much I loved myself because I realized that when you love yourself, you can't settle for that type of life anymore. You realize that there are certain habits that are no longer aligned with who you've become as a person. But who you become as a person on the self-development journey is contingent on how much you love yourself, not the other way around. A lot of people want to make their self-love contingent on who they become, but who you become is contingent on your self-love. And that is the paradigm shift that I need you guys to implement if you want to make this self-development thing a lifestyle. And if you want it to be enjoyable for yourself, you're supposed to enjoy this. Okay, yes, it's not always easy. No fap, it's not easy by any means. Okay, even I can get caught up. And this video is proof of that. But I want you guys to know that I am also living proof that if you love yourself, you can stop and start these habits at any given time that you want. I'm on NoFap easily now, okay? Like I said, in my last NoFap video, it's pretty much impossible for me to relapse. And when I say relapse, that means involuntarily relapse. Okay, right now, I'm at a position where I can pick and choose how I want to live my life. I'm very conscious and aware of all of my decisions. I don't act unconsciously anymore, okay? And that's only because I love myself and I've gotten to know myself. Instead of trying to be something that I'm not, trying to be this optimal person in everyone else's eyes, I've made the conscious decision to be the best version of myself and optimize myself. And in doing so, I've become my best version. And I'll continue to build upon that, to build upon that foundation of elevation, of expansion, of self-love and self-mastery.